Hi guys, it's Mrs. Bradford. I'm going to read you a story today called Cinnamon and the April Shower. My glasses on. Solomon Raven, the wisest bird in all of the forest, perched high up on a branch in his favorite hickory tree. A soft April breeze whispered through the woods. Spring was finally here. Bird songs filled the air as Solomon flew above the forest. He liked to watch over the new baby animals of the forest. Cinnamon Bear waddled from her den. A fuzzy cub trailed close behind her. This is my new son, Cubby, she growled up at Solomon with pride. Pearl Squirrel scampered around her pretty leaf nest. Pearl, oops. Pearl had a, fam a new family too. Solomon flew deep into the forest. He found Lewis and Sherry Cardinal feeding three hungry chicks. There's so much to do in the spring, chirped Cherry. We are working from sunrise to sunset. Gosh, they have three babies. Solomon came to the stream where Silver was swimming. Many bright minnows wiggled in the chilly water. Polly the frog played along the creek bank. Solomon flew back to his hickory tree as the April breeze began to grow colder. The sky turned dark. A low rumble shook the ground. Solomon spread his wings and flew off to sound a warning. Everyone is so busy, he thought. I must tell them to hurry home. He flew above the budding trees. Caw, 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 he cried in his strongest raven voice. Rain began to fall and the rumbling noise of thunder grew louder. Solomon sent out his call. Still, Cinnamon heard Solomon and hurried Cubby back to the den. They snuggled in their safe place. The wind howled, lightning crackled in the sky. Everything will be okay, Cinnamon whispered to Cubby. Solomon saw the lightning. He heard the thunder. He felt the hard rain on his back. Still, he flew on. He cawed over the evergreen trees. He cawed along the forest stream. He cawed until he was sure all of his friends and their new families were safe in their homes. At last, wet and tired, Solomon landed near Cinnamon's den. I was worried, said Cinnamon. You were gone a long time. I had to warn all the animals, explained Solomon. Yes, replied Cinnamon. I heard you and hurried home with my cubby. I don't like spring storms. Storms can be scary and dangerous if we aren't prepared, said Solomon. But good things come after storms. Trees bud, flowers bloom, worms come out, and the earth comes alive again. Yes, agreed, Cinnamon. And we all need water to drink. Rain keeps our trees alive and fills up the stream. She smiled up at Solomon. Solomon smiled too. Spring was finally here. The forest family was safe and growing. Everything was as it should be. And with that, Solomon fell asleep in the peaceful April night. That's the end. So that storm was just, or that storm, that book was all about how storms can be scary, but they're good for our, our uh, land and, and for us, especially in the spring to help things grow. So have a great day, everybody. See you next time.